Good morning. Welcome to Old St. Mary's Church as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist on this, the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Carl Bernardo, and Scott and I will lead the music. While only the cantor is able to sing during this phase of reopening the church, the music and readings for this Mass can be found in this week's worship aid. Feel free to follow along on your phone or device if you like. Just click the Sunday worship aid link on the front page of our parish website, oldsaintmarys.com. Presiding at liturgy is Father Schoberly, and preaching is Father Johnson. Our gathering song, A House of Prayer. Let this be a house of prayer. Shelter of God's love and care Shaped into a house of living stones By the hands of Christ our cornerstone Let this be a house of prayer For all people love overflowing let this be a house of prayer a holy ground where all find welcome let this be a house of prayer a temple of the Holy Spirit let this be a house of prayer let this be a house of prayer, shelter of God's love and care, shaped into a house of living stones, by the hands of Christ our cornerstone. Let this be a house of prayer for all people. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather this morning, 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, maybe not so ordinary anymore, because what we celebrate today besides Christ's love for us is that he brings one of his special children to the Eucharistic table for the first time. So besides our regular Mass this morning, we are happy to have with us Miracle Onyebula, who is going to make his first communion at Mass today. So we are happy to have him and his family with us. So as we gather, though, we need to prepare. So let us acknowledge our constant need for God's mercy in our lives. Lord Jesus, you healed all who called upon your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sat at table with sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to love each other as you love us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord.
nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed a light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy with a brightness. You rule the peoples. You guide the nations, the nations of earth. You guide the nations on earth. O oh God, let all praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing. That all the ends of the earth may revere him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word to her in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away. She keeps calling out after us. Jesus said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that very hour. The Gospel of the Lord. I wonder how Jesus would have responded to the request of the Canaanite woman if his disciples hadn't been standing right there next to him. After all, there are instances in the Gospels where Jesus does, doesn't hesitate to grant the request of a foreigner, a non-believer, a sinner, a ritually unclean person. However, on the occasion recounted in today's Gospel story, Jesus seems to recognize that he has a real teachable moment at hand. <clears throat> the woman calls out, asking for the healing of her daughter. The disciples ask Jesus to send her away. She's proven to be a persistent bother. So initially, uh, Jesus appears to play the situation the way the disciples want him to. First, he just simply ignores the woman's request. Then he tries to send her away with what seems to be an insult. It's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But she's had hurtful, disrespectful words hurled at her before. Perhaps it's even a daily experience. This isn't anything new. She stands her ground. She won't be driven off. Even though Jesus tells her that his mission is only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, she senses that it's really much more inclusive, a much more inclusive ministry. And though she's a Canaanite and not a Jew, she believes that she and her daughter are human beings created by God and that they have worth and value in the eyes of Jesus and in the heart of God. Hearing the woman's argument and sensing her deep faith, you can just imagine Jesus turning to his disciples to say, well, I played it your way, and you've heard this woman's argument. Now I'm going to teach you something about God's way of compassion and love for everyone. Then Jesus says to the woman, you have great faith. And yes, God does hear your need and that of your daughter, and he loves you both. Your daughter will be healed. <clears throat> The coronavirus pandemic has transformed the landscapes of our lives. Patterns of parish life that has sustained community and the proclamation and living of the gospel have been challenged by these many months of isolation. 
The pandemic has shaken our individual and collective feelings of security on a number of levels. Personal health, financial security, safety, relationships. And the issues of race and nationality, the rights of immigrants, and the imperative of, of authentic solidarity in society and in our church that have surfaced are, I pray, a turning point, not simply an episode. We're in the midst of a social renewal in which the meaning of equality is being challenged. And I hope that we will all be the better for it. Just as Jesus' teaching and manner of life sought to transform the lives and minds and hearts of his disciples, so the pastoral mission of the church in the coming months and years cannot be one merely of recovery, but one of transformation. Now, what will that transformation look like? Well, I think we'll just need to stay tuned to the attentive and attentive to the promptings and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because today's gospel lesson teaches such a fundamental lesson about God's love, it's one of the great stories of the gospel. Jesus desired his disciples to learn the lesson of God's wide mercy and all-embracing love, acceptance, and compassion. The lesson that no matter the gender or orientation, the language, the color, the religion, the ethnicity, all persons are firmly held in God's love. And he wanted his disciples, he wants us, to model that love in our lives and in our ministry. All of today's scripture readings convey the truth of God's inclusive love and of the Father's invitation to a loving and honest relationship with him. God loves us and wishes us to be whole and to be morally and spiritually healthy. And through every aspect of our lives, our thoughts, our words, our actions, that's the message that Jesus wants us to convey to others. That's a wonderful and most acceptable gift, a most pleasing offering from us to God. And it's a fulfillment of the desire of God expressed in the opening words of today's reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just. It is the doing that is often most difficult. And so during this, this time of pandemic, we have been doing our profession of faith using our baptismal promises. And in each of these, you are invited to say, I do, and follow through on it. So do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us fill this house of prayer with our petitions to the Lord 
on behalf of all those who are in need. That we, the Church, will welcome the stranger among us, and that those who govern nations will be unafraid to break down barriers that divide and promote greater understanding and peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all school administrators and teachers as they prepare to safely begin a new school year, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents who care for sick children will know strength through the prayers of this community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those injured in acts of violence will fully recover from their wounds, and that all who confess discipleship with Jesus will firmly reject all hatred, bigotry, and group supremacy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, like the daughter of the Canaanite woman, will know the healing power of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially Jerry Dollar, Emmanuel and Sixto de Guzman, Jr., and all will rest in peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in prayerful silence, We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As you know, during this time, I've been inviting all of you out at home to say your prayers aloud. I continue to invite you to do that. But in a special way today, we are also going to pray for Miracle and all his classmates who will be receiving First Communions in the upcoming days and weeks. And we're also going to remember today our confirmation class some of whom are going to be confirmed at our 6 o'clock Mass tonight. So for all those people and all those chill intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are. Gracious God, accept us and our prayers. Transform us to be ever like you, through Christ our Lord. You are reminded that as we continue to undergo this, this uh, crisis where we can't all quite be together, that your contributions to the parish are still helping us to do our ministries. So those of you who are at home and want to give online, please click the donate button at the parish website. Those of you who are here present, you can do the same, but you can also contribute directly. The, uh, there are boxes behind Joseph on the wall back there, and uh, you can contribute directly, or you can send in checks or, or any other way. We thank you for your generosity and your consistency especially during this time of COVID. May God bless you. There's a whiteness in God's mercy like the whiteness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all the members in the sorrow. But more faithful, we should rest upon God's word, and our lives would be thanksgiving for the goodness of our Lord. Troubled souls, why will you scatter like a crowd of Why will you wander from a love so true and deep? There is welcome for the sinner and more grace. 
says for the good there is mercy with the Savior there is healing in his blood pray brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name for the good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, receive our offering by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray upon this oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul, our patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. And in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. In a special way today, remember your son Miracle as he approaches the table of your love for the first time. And for all of our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus summoned us to be one in God's love, and through him we have the ability to pray in the words he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer in some socially distanced way a sign of peace to one another. Peace to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace, grant us peace. 
So as you know, during this time of COVID, we have special directions for communion, but also because today is the first communion day, we have added instructions. So the instructions, well, the, the explanation is first this. We welcome miracle to the table of the Eucharist for the first time. And as always, that's a very big deal. It's a big deal for him. It's a big deal for us as community because it fulfills the promises made at his baptism to come to this table. So uh, the order for communion will be, he will come first with his family. And once they've returned to their pews, everyone else will come forward in the way that I'm about to describe. Everyone gets, uh, gets to follow the directions of different ushers. Uh, ushers will help you, so follow their lead. Move forward in single file, maintaining six foot of distance. We have six foot red marks on the carpet. Um, ushers will then sanitize your hands, rub in the sanitizer thoroughly, and, and then uh, wait until it's your turn to come forward. As you approach the priest or the extraordinary minister, your mask stays in place. You don't touch any other things with your hands after they're sanitized and receive in your hand only. Then step away to the yellow marks, the, the six foot marks, and then drop your mask on one side, consume, put the mask back up, and proceed back to your pews. The ushers will help you uh, guide that direction. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation, given for us all. Broken for the broken, shared for humankind. We proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the hungry ones, for the thirsty ones, for the lonely ones you call us to serve, to be Christ for the broken for the world. Broken for the broken, roared out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shared for humankind. We proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the ones of you, for the ones confused, for the ones refused, you call us to love, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind. We proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the voiceless ones, for the helpless ones, for the homeless ones, you call us to speak, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. 
broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation, given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the wounded ones, for the shattered ones, for the tired ones you call us to help, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation, given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us in prayer, live and in person or live online. Thank you for doing that. Uh, we'll continue to live stream all of our masses throughout this time and probably even after. So just thank you for uh, coming to oldstmarys.com. You will find on our website a plethora of information. So feel free to check out all the different mass recordings we have, as well as the celebrations that are there. Um, a, a reminder also that the bulletin is posted there, and you can read more about uh, all the different events in the parish there. Uh, earlier this month, the people of Beirut, Lebanon, suffered that catastrophic explosion in the city's port area. If you would like to help the citizens of Lebanon, you can do so by donating to Caritas International, the umbrella organization for Catholic charitable agencies, such as Catholic Relief Services, and that's also in the bulletin online. There's also information about the number of volunteer opportunities including the Greater Chicago Food Depository. A reminder that to come to any of our online liturgies, you have to register online. 
So it is required. We need to know who's here we, in, just in case. We, we need to know. Uh, it's important also that if you're coming that you try to arrive here at least 10 minutes early. So we, we, we do close the doors right at the appointed time and, and so it's, it, we want to keep everyone safe and on time and present. Um, which is also a reminder at the end of the Mass today, at, stay in your pews until the closing of the final song. The ushers will come and get you and lead you out. So they, they will release you to the different aisles just so you know that. I know this is a, a challenging time and we, we've got all kinds of things going on. One thing that I would like to invite is I want to congratulate Miracle once again. I'm actually going to, hold on, hold on. I'm going to invite him and his mom and dad to come up here. And I'm just going to have you come up and, what's that? Daughter. Daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. I'm going to invite you to all three come forward and just stand on the first step here. And... Uh, you're going to get a chance. Just come up, come up here. I'm, I won't bite. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to wait. And come up and stand on the first step and turn and face everyone. Okay? And now, this is going to be very uh, tough. I'm going to back away. If you want to drop your masks for a few seconds and then wave at everybody, including the, the, camera, is, the camera is right back there. So if you wave right there, you all wave and you all know what you need to do. And then you can go back down to your places. And uh, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go now to share the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. If you believe and I believe and we together pray, the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free, and set God's people free, and set God's people free. The Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free. If you believe and I believe and we together pray, the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free. And set God's people free, and set God's people free. The Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free. If you believe and I believe and we together pray, the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free. And set God's people free. And set God's people free. The Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free.